Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rissa, AKA Rissa Explains It All. I go over business, manifesting, and side hustles. And today I'm going to be talking about an experience I had with Amazon Flex. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm just like, in a chill vibe, okay? I just wanted to discuss something that had happened with me so that if you run into this issue, you could handle it the same way or whatever because safety is first, okay guys? First, what I want you guys to do is hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button for me, thank you. Secondly, I am like under the weather but not COVID under the weather. I slept in front of the fan and caused a sore throat. I'm not thriving right now. <laughs> to be honest, I'm debating on doing my shift because I'm in like pain. Um, anyways, last week I did a Amazon flex shift. It was a four hour shift for $98. And when I pulled up to the facility, I got my packages. There was only 20 packages and I'm like super confused. I'm like 20 packages. How did I get so lucky? Oh, but she was not lucky. What happened was I got 20 packages that were um, kind of spaced out. So uh, I'd say the furthest destination was 20 miles. So it really wasn't the destination bothering me. What happened though was the drop-offs were in very unsafe locations with zero service. I couldn't get access to my phone or GPS. I couldn't call anybody, anything like that. <clears throat> now, if you live in LA and you are familiar with the canyons there is topanga canyon there is laurel canyon there is cold water canyon there are so many different canyons that i'm also missing but it's usually uphill mountains swirly roads really steep type of um sorry guys i just choked it's usually um really steep roads and just really scary um driving conditions and it scares me when I, it's getting dark I can't see, I have no cell service, um, stuff like that. So I delivered about half the packages. So I was like on package 12 actually. And <clears throat> I just kept getting further and further up in the mountains and my phone was literally on zero bars. I couldn't even deliver my previous package because the service was going out. It, at this time, it's also getting super dark. It's like starting to get dark outside I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not risking my life for $98 on these scary dirt roads, winding roads. I could drive off a cliff, really. Like, it's that possible up there. I'm making this video because I wanted to let you guys know that it is okay if you feel unsafe to return packages, return food, return whatever. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I called support, I drove my butt down the mountain and I called support and I let them know like, hey, I'm not getting service up there. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how I'm supposed to deliver the packages. If I don't get service, the GPS is not working. I can't call you guys. Cause they're like, oh, we can guide you to the locations. And I was like, I get what you're saying. But once I go back up that mountain, I'm going to lose cell service. So how can you guide me if you cannot speak to me? So <clears throat> we went back and forth with that for a little bit, but they were mainly understanding. I let them know like, hey, I do not feel safe. I am going to be returning these packages. What are the consequences that are going to be put on me for returning these packages? And this is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. I mean, I haven't only done two or three Amazon flex shifts in general. So this is the first time I've had to return something. So they let me know since it was a safety concern that nothing would be held against me. They did advise me that they were not sure about pay if I'd be paid fully or half pay because they did not handle that in that department. So they gave me an email and they told me to contact that department to see if I would be paid fully or not. So I returned the packages to the warehouse. The warehouse was like, what happened? And I let them know like, it's unsafe. I couldn't get any service, yada, yada. And they're like, okay, okay, no problem. Safety first. So they under, they fully understood and they were supportive of me returning the packages, which was great. So thank you to the warehouse workers for that. I also wouldn't have felt bad either way because this is not the end all be all of jobs or gigs. So you also have to recognize that when you're doing these gig apps because we're pretty um, disposable. You know, that's why they hire so many people all the time. I worked up until about 7.45, I think. I was at the two hour time limit and I had four hours. But also I wanted to let you guys know that if you do return packages, it does not let you sign out or log out. It's just gonna show you still working on the, um, what is it called batch or whatever you want to call it for amazon so don't be alarmed if you do see that but 
yeah, I just wanted to bring up this story because if you feel unsafe or like you cannot handle the packages that they are giving you to deliver or the area is not your favorite area, return it. Safety first, God forbid anything happens, you know, and for me, I'm telling you guys, I posted a little screen grab of this canyon, but if you guys really ever come to LA and you drive on this canyon, you'll know. People also like to speed on that canyon. It's actually for race car drivers. Um, like, it's not really, but it really is. If you know, you know. People are racing on that canyon all the time, and it's like, um, we're taking sharp turns. I'm not trying to fly off the mountain. So anyways, just thought I'd bring that up guys. I'm actually about to head to my shift. Hopefully it goes good. Hopefully I do not go back up in that canyon or I will return the package again. I do not care. Um, I know why they gave me those packages because those big old Amazon trucks did not want to go up there and probably were losing service just as well. Um, so yeah, that's my story for today guys um if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and let me know if you've experienced something like this before but other than that guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye